Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm her Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. Um, there it goes. Wow. Um, <laughs> got some in my eye. Sorry. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. I was just about to start with, I saw all the comments on one of my most recent videos about the little orbs flying around. <laughs> wow. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Like I said, there it goes. I just saw something. You probably don't see it showing up as vividly as you did the other night, the other day, because it was nighttime when I was filming it. So it probably was, uh, shows up a lot clearer. Right now I have natural light. I have a big light right there and I have a big light behind me. But maybe you can. I don't know. Um, that day I did feel like my grandmother was very close that day. I was, well, I think it's because I was speaking to her all day. They're always close, but I was, I literally walked around my house and I talk, I talk to my grandmother, I talk to whoever I feel like talking to my past on loved ones, but she was like my best friend. So I talked to her a lot. Um, look at that. The card I just pulled in between worlds. Yeah. So, um, I feel that, you know, she was, you know, congratulating me in a sense and, but I also felt um, that reading, that I, particular reading that I was doing, it felt like a very, I don't want to say good reading, but a beautiful reading. The energy was very beautiful around that reading. Um, there was like a lot of angelic presence. And I feel that in anyone's home, not just mine, but anyone's home, there are spirits, okay? Um, there are spirits there that, people, that were there before you. There will be spirits there that are after you. I feel like it's kind of like in movies how sometimes you know some spirits will come forward when they feel or they know that someone connects on the spiritual level so they'll be more present uh good or bad but so I feel, I feel like that's just what it was I'm new in this home I've, I've blessed this home I'm still gonna have it blessed again I've cleansed it there's something right there um, but I feel that it's kind of like, um, because it's, I'm, I'm new to the home, I feel like it's a kind of like a kicking up of energy in this home. And I'm the first person who lived in this home in about a year. So, um, so I feel like that's what you saw and that's probably what you're going to continue to see. And I, and I don't know if you noticed in the video, I actually said I saw something, um, in one of the videos that was recorded because I can see it. Um, and right when I started this video, it was almost like they know or who, whatever it is, I don't know what it is, knew I was about to start talking about it because there was something that went right across the screen as soon as I hit play. So that's like how spirits, I guess that's how they play, that's how they talk, that's how they communicate. And mind you, I'm like, technically, I'm like right outside New Orleans. Like this is one of the most, I don't like to use the word haunted, but one of the most or the most, I'm pretty sure, like if you look it up, haunted cities in New Orleans, I mean, in Louis in America, in America, excuse me. If you talk to anyone, I know I have a lot of subscribers from Louisiana too. If you talk to anyone from around here, they have had a paranormal experience, like no joke. Um, almost anyone, even the people who don't really, who try not to believe in those things or they try to deny it. I have had the most non-believing people tell me experiences that they've had in their home or around New Orleans. So it's very common. It's very, very common. I remember when my son was a baby, I'll just tell you really briefly, uh, when my son was a baby and I had a roommate, we were sitting on the couch talking and all of a sudden my son, he didn't even, he didn't even know how to walk yet. He had a little walker, one of those little space walkers, I think they're called, and he crawled to it. And he stood up, he pulled himself up from the walker and he started having a little conversation. Now, my, if nobody else is in the room, I swear to God, I thought I was crazy. But me and her both looked over and he was talking, like baby talking. It was like somebody was like playing with him because he was laughing, he was smiling. And like, he was like, and then he started doing like, you know how babies do that belly laughs. Like something was making him crack up laughing. And all of a sudden, oh, I just saw something again. All of a sudden, um, I'm getting like, I don't know if I'm getting nervous. All of a sudden, it, it was like he was talking, he was laughing to whatever spirit he was talking and laughing to. And it was as if the spirit, whoever he was speaking to said, they're watching you. Because my son, mind you, nine months old. He goes like this. 
and he looks at us and he immediately just plops on his butt and starts crawling and playing with the blocks like it never happened. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? And this was before I was tuned in tapped. I was like, what the hell is happening there? And then there was other little stories like my keys would disappear and then they would be reappear right in the place where I knew I left them. Like after tearing the house up, then my keys would be literally right where I knew I had left them. So it's like I've experienced a lot of little things like that before, especially living in, in the city. Um, but yeah, that's I thought that was interesting and I wanted to mention it because I thought I saw you guys uh comment a lot. There was like 29 comments on that video under somebody's particular post. So anyways, I wanted to share that. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, somebody also asked about how do you um, enter the giveaway. You just let me know in the comment section that you would like to enter the giveaway and I'll heart your entry. Okay. That's all you have to do. Nothing, nothing else. Okay. You still have time to put your name on the petition for the road opener. And that will be, um, the link in the description box. And if you guys have any paranormal stories, I love like reading about that kind of stuff. I'll even share some, let me know in the comment section. All right, so let's go ahead. So this is going to be a reading for mid-March until, until mid-April, okay? Oh, there we have it. One card or two cards? Wow, one card, and we have milk and honey. Number 51, milk and honey. This reduces to six, which sixes are about balance and harmony. This is a beautiful card and beautiful energy. I'm gonna read this before I get started with the Celtic cross. Milk and honey. So that is like enjoying some sort of luxury here, abundance. Wow, that's a beautiful energy because mid-March, we are going into Aries season until mid-April. So that is the energy. Let's see here. So milk and honey, the taste of prosperity. Oh yes, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to be to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Subtle. Um, abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Okay, that is beautiful energy. One of my favorite affirmations is, Everything is always working out for me and all my needs are met. And I'm telling you, when you get into the habit of saying those things, it really, you don't worry anymore. You don't stress. Even sometimes when things come up that you want to stress yourself out, I just immediately start saying that and it always works out. I'm telling you guys, make it a habit. You will start to see your life change. You really will. Um, milk and honey. So this is being in this abundance energy. And one thing I was thinking when I was reading that is that I have to tell people it, it starts, look at that elevation and acceptance. It starts in your mind. Excuse me. You're never going to see abundance until you feel it. Okay. You're never going to see it first until you feel it. I'm telling you, abundance is not a number. Abundance is not a number in your bank account. It is a feeling. That feeling will correlate to a number or that feeling will correlate to money always coming in or your needs always being met. When you realize that, it does not matter what someone or on paper says you're making, how much money you're making. It does not matter if you receive a lump sum of money because that lump sum of money, if you don't feel abundant, will be drained immediately. Because guess what? It has to match your vibration. That lump sum of money has, has to match what you're putting out. And if let's just say somebody came and put a million dollars in your hand and you your vibration is giving out, I never have money. Guess what? You'll have that million dollars for about a week. I think people have spent more money in less time 
Okay. So this milk and honey energy is coming from within Aries. This is the feeling, the energy here that is going to be around you. Wow. I said acceptance and it came out in the other deck. So we have acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people. Lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. That's that's it. You know, the card even said says, you know, you wear life like a loose garment. Not taking things so seriously. We have loyalty. Uh, both of these cards here are green. Heart chakra energy. So this is literally going to be coming from within. You, your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. I'm hearing being loyal to yourself. Loyal to yourself is what's going to get you. Look at that. Beautiful. What you need and what you deserve. We have service and we have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. This is beautiful energy. Service. I feel good when I can help others. That's another way of putting yourself in balance and harmony. We have poise at the bottom of the deck. So let's pull some Kipper and some TV cards here. See what are the energies coming towards you. Mid-March mid to mid-April. Let's see here. I'm going to turn the volume off of here. Wow. Okay. So we have number four, courtship. At the bottom of the deck, we have gift. There's been a relationship brewing here for a while now in the Aries reading. We have family room. Tell us more. Aries, I feel like some of you are about to meet someone. Oh, what? This is, well, okay. So it still amazes me. As long as I've been doing these readings, it still amazes me when, like, when not only repeating messages, but like when cards come out in the same exact spot, the bat, both of these cards, courtship and family room fell out on the table upright, but the bad health card fell out in reverse. And I remember, I don't know what reading I just did, but it literally flipped around in reverse in the last reading. And here it is in reverse. That is so crazy. So, the, I mean, it's not crazy seeing this energy around it because I can absolutely see why somebody's health, physical or mental health would be getting better because all of the energy around this bad health in reverse is harmony, acceptance, balance, alignment, loyalty, courtship. So, I mean, Aries, I feel like there's someone, I keep wanting to say mental health, it could even, I just heard financial health that will be healing. Okay, coming into this inner, get coming into this season, we'll say season, yeah. Coming into this next season, things are about to start aligning for you. Once you start speaking them, believing it, it is going to start aligning for you. All right. What, why am I getting all these messages right now? All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to leave that there. At the bottom of the deck, we have official person, main male, and main female. This is a partnership right here, main male and main female. All right. Okay, let's see. This flipped right out, Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. You are on the road to success. Confirmation, somebody is on the right path. Okay, you got throne, position of authority. Okay, position of authority. Beautiful. This is like the energy that you're carrying yourself in. Okay, and we also have, a, I said that official person at the bottom of the deck. Somebody I feel like is stepping into their, not just your power, but stepping into your birthright. Stepping into your birthright, we have the hand, hand here. It was in reverse, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So I feel like whatever ha whatever assistance or guidance that you need, you're getting, you're receiving. And at the bottom of the deck, success. Success, okay. All right. 
So I have to say this because I just literally finished commenting on a post on one of my good friends, Christina, one of my preferred readers. Check her Instagram out, Urban Creole IG. Um, and I think that is in my description box, but she just made a post about uh, not shrinking, um, how other people may feel that you are intimidating. And I, you know, and that's kind of what came like just that post just came to mind just now when the throne came, came up. So I felt like I needed to mention it. But this position of authority here, it's like somebody here is stepping into their power, their birthright, no matter how other people around them feel about it. Right. Because I can tell you, for one, if you base your life off of the way other people feel, you will always be miserable. Um, and I had a brief conversation with her under her posts about how before in the past, when I was younger, my younger self, people always used to comment, well, you're you're intimidating. And like people would say things like that. And I'm sure as an Aries, you probably, guys could probably can relate not knowing. And I guess this is younger Chelsea, too, how that would make some people feel. But honestly, that's a projection. You know, when people tell you you're intimidating, it's them really saying they feel less than, they feel less than. And so if you don't understand that language or you don't understand what is being said, it can make you feel in a way. I'm feeling like here with this throne energy here, no matter what is being said, there is somebody here who is claiming their throne. Like, you know, claiming your, your stepping into your birthright, your, your power, Okay. Um, and when I say your birthright, you're a royalty. Okay. When you realize that, when you realize that, understand that and start walking into that, <laughs> baby, nothing can stop you. Okay. You are royalty. Okay. Let's see here. Let's pull a few romance angels and we'll get into the Celtic cross. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver glass to your third Aries collective. What do we have here for, we have children coming out. Well, your love life is being affected by children. This could be literally, this could also be you, some of you could be having children, being pregnant, finding out you're pregnant. I mean, springtime is the energy of birthing new things as well. But the first thing I was going to say is some of you could be having more fun. Okay, look at that attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Thank you. So some of you could be having more fun in life during this season, which would make sense. This is, you know, this is airy season. And I would say a lot of us have great sense of humors. We are more of like that childlike sign. We just, we love to have fun. I even read somewhere that, you know, and I know any cross watchers are not going to agree, but Aries in general have this youthfulness about them long up into, you know, their elder years. It's just the energy that we bring, right? Joking all the time, liking to have fun, enjoying um, energy uh, people. So we have codependency here and it came in reverse. Addictions are effect affecting your romantic life. So the fact that it came in reverse here, I feel like, and this came out before too as well in another reading. This is meaning that you're shedding some sort of toxic energy. This could be like the residual energy from a relationship or somebody that you cut off, you're breaking free of some sort of toxic energy, some sort of codependent situation that you were in. It could be a job. It could be a person. It could be a friendship, relationship. I told you. Thank you, spirit. Playfulness. Oh, here we go. Goodness gracious. Please. Playfulness fell on the floor. I'm telling you this. Children, there could be something around children here. In March, I mean, in, yeah, in March to April. But this is about your energy that you're in. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. I like this. I like this. At the bottom of the deck, we have religious factors. I like this, Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. I already shuffled before. I went live. Okay, so what is this? So we have the seven of wands and it flipped in reverse, okay? So there's this energy of being able, I was going to say, let your guard down, but I heard right before I said that, let your hair down. So you may have been in a vulnerable state before that really caused you to be defensive or on guard or in protective mode. You are feeling safer. 
You are feeling safer in your own energy. You are feeling safer with the energies around you. This is a good thing. There is this, this, this energy of you being able to be less defensive. And that means you're healing. That means you're healing from something. Okay. And that makes sense with acceptance and harmony here, milk and honey, you're healing from something. I'm seeing the king of queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you've been taking care of yourself more, nurturing yourself and you're healing from something. That's why we have this bad health in reverse. All right. Temperance. Yep. Balance, moderation. There it is. You are healing. I feel like this is about your emotional self too. You are balancing your emotions. You are not just balancing your emotions, but you're also a, you're also balancing the things that have happened to you. So I think it's in the Rider weight version of the tarot. Well, no, that's a different deck. There's a there's a deck, and I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. I don't know what deck it is. Um, I think it's put away, and now they're showing me the Light Seers. So it might be the Light Seers deck, but. There's a deck where the temperance, they have fire and water. They have fire and water instead of most decks, it's just water and water that they're balancing. If you can see here closely, she's she's balancing the cups out. They have fire and water. So you're balancing that creative side, that fire, that passion, also with that nurturing side or that emotional side, right? Right. When you're in balance, and I just heard someone else say this too, when you're in balance, like let's say working too much, not allowing yourself to feel love or look at love. You know, there's one thing where you go through breakups, right? And you're like, I'm just going to grind. I'm just going to focus on my paper. I'm just going to focus on my money, my business. And sometimes, you know, I'm a strong believer and sometimes that is that helps you get through things, but you always do have to double double back, right? And take care of that emotional health. You do have to heal. You can't go through life just being like, I hate love. I'm not doing love anymore. I'm not being in a relationship anymore. Because the, matter, the, the fact of the matter is that love is always operating in your life. Love does not have to be operating in your life because you're in a relationship. Love should be operating in your life because you're with yourself. And so I feel like that is why somebody is healing here. They are loving themselves more, maybe dating yourself, right? Um, if you know, you know. This is the energy of balancing those things out, all right? And even this is a, even though this is in the challenge position with the temperance, I feel that somebody is starting to master that. Somebody is starting to step into that energy. Came right out. And we have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here is what spirit wants you to focus on during this period. That is emotions. That is love. That is romance. Again, I feel like you're not even, some of you are not going to have, it's not, it's just going to be in your face is what I'm trying to say here. The Knight of Cups here, this romance energy, it's about to be in someone's face where romance is about to be presented to you because there's a courtship here. Um, others of you, I feel like you're gearing up for that. Like this spirit is wanting you to focus on that, the romance of life, the enjoyment of life, the dreams that you have falling in love with that. And exactly. Thank you, spirit. What you're leaving in the past is the three of swords, heartache, pain, betrayal. You see here, the skeleton is pulling or putting the knife in someone's back. Okay. Um, it always looks really, this always looks really sinister to me. You can't really tell if the person back here is putting them or taking them out, but it almost looks like the person down here is feeling defeated and just is like, you know what, just <laughs> stab me in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody who's given up on life. And that's kind of, so that's what you're leaving in the past. If you feel like you've given up before, you're taking your life back. You're taking, you know, your power back. I'm getting this strong sense of someone here really falling in love with themselves again, and which is also in return going to make you more romantically attractive. Look at that. The strength, regaining your strength is your strength. The strength came out in the strength position. That is crazy. So you are regaining your strength here in this season. That is beautiful. 
with that, you know what, with that, I'm getting like, you're, you know, to be strong is sometimes to restrain yourself. A lot of the times it is. Things that you would give attention to, energy to, comments to, you're not going to give it anymore because you know that's really your power. You're not giving away unwanted energy. You're not giving away energy to unwanted things. You know, where your attention goes, energy flows, right? So that is really a superpower because you notice the people who can't shut up or they can't, you know what I'm saying? They're always making comments about certain things that are loose mouth. I like to call them loose mouth, loose lips people here, right? Sometimes you can get anything out of them. You are finding your power and realizing that you can, you're not going to give your energy over to unwanted things or unwanted situations. And that is truly powerful. Reserving your energy, reserving is the right word, reserving your energy for yourself in return is going to have energy, more energy for your manifestations. And then you're not exerting so much energy. I feel like people don't get that. That's why you're in flow. That's why the overall energy here is milk and honey. Is really like easy street, right? Like that post I made the other day, it's really like this easy street type of energy. Um, like I'm seeing someone right now, weather's getting warm, weather's getting nice, and I'm seeing a hammock, like somebody laying in a hammock. Um, the breeze is blowing, music is playing, and like just really in this relaxation type of energy. I don't know. Maybe somebody's thought about buying a hammock. I don't know. Let's see here. What's going? What's coming to Aries in this period? I love this. So the two cards came out. Oh my goodness. I love this. This is such a beautiful energy. We have the hermit and the fool card. I, like literally someone here has been in hibernation, right? In hermit mode here. And the fool card, which represents Aries, Aries energy is coming back out starting this new week. So you needed some time to recharge, right? You needed some time to be with yourself. And if you took that time, you did things just right because now you're in this period here of coming out in the springtime where things are being birthed, things are being created. New people are coming into your life. We have, somebody is about to be in a relationship. We have the 10 of pentacles and the ace of, wow. The 10 of pentacles, the ace of pentacles and the lovers. Somebody is about to be in a committed relationship and this is brand new. I feel like if I'm speaking to you and this resonates, you have not met this person yet. Underneath that is the empress, self-love creativity. Something is being birthed. Wow. This is so beautiful. All right. Let's see here. Aries, what is your advice and the energy here? Spirit wants you to be in the three of pentacles, the three of pentacles, <clears throat> you know, it came crossing. So I want to say this, although this is like building collaboration, what I was got, getting immediately is that you're not working on anything or with anyone that does not compliment you or does not, how do I say this, does not serve you, is not mutually beneficial, okay? Because it's not always just about self, but mutually beneficial. You're not working with anyone. You're not collaborating. You're not giving your energy to anything or anyone where it is not mutually beneficial. And I feel like that's why this came in, um, is like a crossing position because if you see in this card, he is watering the ground. He is watering. This is about your foundation, laying your foundation to build upon. Okay. And usually it has someone else or two other people in the picture, but this is about this person here growing. Look at that. And I didn't see that. There's plants growing that they're watering. So there's something here that you are watering. I love that. Three of Pentacles is about financial growth as well. So there's something here that is growing for you. And at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Wow. A lot of good energy here. All right. Let's see here. What is in your environment? Of course, there's a Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone here could be coming back around or realizing that they missed an opportunity with you. If you can see what the Four of Cups looks like, this is someone with their head down, very sad. It does feel like a missed opportunity of sorts. Um, it feels like, you know, almost like you dodged a bullet to Aries in a situation. This could be a job. This could be a relationship. It feels like you dodged a bullet in something. And you know what? I feel like, if it was like a job, let's say it was a job situation, 
and whatever you left a job, you got fired from a job, you know, it could be wrongfully or whatnot. I feel like whoever had played a part in that is realizing that they're the ones that, that was a, they lost, right? They had a loss. If it was a relationship and somebody that you've recently broken up from, they're realizing they took the loss, okay? Because this is here. It's like somebody realizing they missed an opportunity. Judgment here at the bottom of the deck. So it could be something resurfacing or about to resurface. Oh, I had to sleep in today, guys. Ooh, and this is my first little bit of coffee. Got me rolling. <laughs> Let's see here. What are your hopes and fears here? I mean, seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups could be about different options. It could also be illusions here. Um, really having to use your discernment and your intuition when making decisions. I feel like what it is giving me here is that somebody does not want to be tricked again, even though you're in this very, you're in this very beautiful energy. And so if things are coming towards you, you don't want to have to play the guessing game anymore, right? You don't want, I feel like the biggest fear here could be that if something is coming towards you, that there are games that are going to be played and, you know, you, you have to go through that when you're in such a good energy, when you're in such a high vibrational energy, you're going to have to entertain things like that. But if I tell you this, if you are in alignment, that inner, that, that intuition is going to be sharpened. You just have to practice on listening to that. I tell people all the time that your intuition is, is yes, it's a gift, but we all have it. You know, it's like a pencil. The more that you sharpen it, right, the more the 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 sharper the point's going to be. So it means like you're going to get it right every time. Um, when you have a question about something or someone, this is why meditation is important. You go into meditation, you silence your mind. This is also how I find things. Um, but you silence your mind. I'll talk about that in a second. And you ask a question. The very first thing that comes into your mind or you hear that voice, I hear voices, that very first voice you hear is the right answer. The very next thing that will be on the heels of that answer will be doubt, okay? Will be an energy of deception, you know? It's always that double, like that double-minded. And that's sometimes where we'll second guess ourselves if we take too long to make a decision. Okay, I'm telling you the I, if it's, it has served me right all along, that very first voice you hear, even if it's not what you're expecting to hear, the divine knows more than you. Okay, even if it's something that you weren't expecting to hear and that may make you question it, don't. Okay, um, I've used that very well, and it has been right about people. It has been right about situations, and I've found myself in a stupid position because I didn't want to listen to that sometimes because I'm like, no, but that's my friend or no, that, you know, they're nice. And no, that very first voice is going to tell you exactly what you need to hear. Okay. And so I don't want you to fear now that you've gotten into this good energy when new people do come into your life. I don't want to say this questioning, casting doubt or causing illusions yourself. You know, you could have a very good person coming towards you. And if you're oppressing upon these illusions from the past, you know, this self-doubt, this hurt, you're turning someone into something that they're not. I hope that makes sense. So be careful. What is this? The Ace of Cups just fell out of my hand. So there is something new coming in. And I feel like the biggest fear that is going to be around you is doubt. And look at that, the outcome, the Ace of Pentacles. I knew it. The Ace of Pentacles is the outcome of this reading. There's a new beginning coming, a solid new beginning. All right. Uh, we have the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So there is someone here who is looking like they're very emotionally mature, grounded energy coming in with a pentacle, an offer. Some of you, this could be with the milk and honey here. This could be a financial opportunity or blessing. This is Ace of Pentacles to me is a blessing. Whether you find it in love, a commitment, it is something that is going to add value to your life. So there is something coming in here that is going to add value to your life. I feel it here with the hermit and the fool. You had to spend some time in solitude to figure out exactly what it was that you wanted and how you wanted it. It just brought me, I just thought about the letter. So if you guys are doing the challenge, if you guys are, it's not a challenge. If you guys are 
putting your name on the petition for the road opener um, ritual, that letter, make sure you're asking for, let me tell you this, making, make sure you're asking for what's going to make you happy and all that is involved. It will come. If something is in the thing that you're asking for is in balance with your life and all that who are affected or involved, it's going to come and it's going to come quickly. Okay. That's a, you know, I'm not dictating what you ask for because that could be many different things. You know, if you're asking for a new home, there is someone out there right now who is desperately trying to sell a home that you are writing about. And that's a mutually beneficial thing, right? It, you know what I'm saying? If you're asking for a relationship, there's someone out there who's praying for someone just like you. So it's just about making sure that what you, you know, this is here with this Ace of Pentacles. This feels like something coming in that is about to be very, very real. And that is about to be a blessing for someone. Let's clarify. Look at that, the Empress at the bottom of the deck, Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands, leaving things in the past that hurt you and starting something new. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck. All right, tell us about this Ace of Pentacles here. Too many cards. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles. There. <laughs> wow. Y'all, something about to pop off in airy season. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Something is about to pop off in airy season. The justice card is here. So this is something that you absolutely deserve. This is about balance, okay? The temperance card is about restoration, letting this happen. You, someone is about to get something that is a blessing that you absolutely deserve. I've been looking at the readings and a lot of them have been talking about good things, positive. It's like, that's been the trend of the readings. And, you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, it, it, it goes through energies. Sometimes for about a month, the energy of the readings will be backstabbing bitches. You know what I'm saying? And for the last month, it's been about blessings coming in. So this is, this is, wow, this is amazing. You know what I mean? If you, you know what I mean, you've been supporting me for a while. So this is absolutely beautiful. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. There's something exciting coming in. There's something passion, something that you're very passionate about or you're going to be about. And whatever it is, it's going to be real. So let's say it is love, right? This is something that is going to be real. It's going to be a commitment. It's not just going to be this lustful type of thing, right? There's going to be lust because the Ace of Wands is there. There's going to be passion. I'm not going to say just lust. There's going to be a passionate feeling around this, exciting feeling around this. And sometimes the thing with new beginnings like that, you don't know if you can trust them because it's like, is this energy just all up in my head? Am I feeling this too? Are they feeling this too? Is it just me feeling this? Well, with the Ace of Pentacles, it is saying that this, whatever this is, if it is love, you're both are feeling it. It's very real. Okay, it is a very real thing that is taking place. Wow, look at that. I didn't even see that. Look at the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. I'm seeing the Nine of Swords over. So somebody is getting over something. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. I'm seeing the Nine of Swords underneath that Ace of Cups. Let's me know somebody here is going to be stressed when you receive these new blessings. Thought something came out, but there's temperance. It didn't come out all the way. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. There it came. So Spirit wanted to reiterate the justice. This is something that you deserve. This is something that you deserve. I think I just said this in a reading the other day that 
things always have to balance out. It could be a year, it could be two years, it could be 10 years, speaking for myself, 10 years of going through negative, hurtful betrayals, backstabs, poverty. You know, you, you're in a situation for so long and you think this is just my life. This is it. And I see so many comments like that. This is, this is what I've always known. This has not been what you see right here. I have been through it too. And one thing I know about life is that it all the scales have to balance, right? If we have too much rain, it's going to kill our plants, right? Shit's going to flood. You know what I'm saying? Things are not going to live or survive. If we have too much sun, they're going to die. You know what I'm saying? Plants are going to die. Food is going to dry out. Like it, things in this world have to be in balance. So remember that when you're waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel, which is a very real thing, it comes. It has to come, okay? But there also has to be rain before, you know, in order to have sun and vice versa. So it is coming for someone here. It is coming. There is a beautiful season that is approaching here. And with the justice card, it is saying because things have to balance out. The justice card is not, the justice card does not show favoritism. Okay. The justice card does not show favoritism. It shows balance. If you see these scales here and she's holding the sword of truth, she sees all. When you're not looking, when you're not watching the things that were done behind your back, the things that you don't know were said, the things that were stolen from you, taken from you, she sees it all. So when she sees it, she knows exactly what needs to be done to restore balance. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Things that you don't see, she sees it. So if something was stolen from you and that put you in a really bad position where you couldn't pay your bills and you couldn't do this, and you couldn't do guess what? You hear it all the time, double for your trouble. Okay, this set this person back. We're about to give them this plus some so they can get back where they're supposed to be right now. If a lover was taken from you, and I say taken loosely because if a lover was taken, that's probably the best thing that could have happened for you. But there was some heartbreak in, involved, right? With this Three of Swords energy in the past. You're about to get a better one. You're about to get a committed one. You're about to get a loyal one. That's the overall energy here, okay? You're about to get you one <laughs> that looks at you like this, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, we cry over things that we're lost, but I promise you, when you get into that energy of realizing, I've gotten to a place now, if something leaves my life, I'm like, wow, thank you. Because I've, I've been through it so much now that I know if something is leaving my life, I will never hold on anymore because I know there's something better coming. And that's the energy of this reading here. It's like somebody is finally putting their defenses down, their guards down, even their anger down and saying, you know what? I'm enjoying where I'm at right now because I know there's something better coming. There's something, there's something blooming here. There's a new beginning that is about to start for someone, a new cycle here with the Fool card. And with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, it's very real and it's going to be very exciting. Tell us about this Three of Pentacles here. What Aries is uh, growing, multiplying here. Your freaking happiness. Look at this. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Like, this is crazy. The, the Ten of Cups is what you're... Look at this. Look at this. Somebody, I mean, look, somebody look at this. I mean, I don't even know. I feel like, who am I speaking to right now? Look at this. So someone here has, you've planted the seeds of your happiness, which means that you've pulled out the weeds, right? You pulled out the things that were cutting off the seeds, right? You've probably been planting and, and harvesting for many years. And for some reason, every time something sprouts up, it's being choked to death. Well, I feel like somebody has pulled out those weeds, right? And now things are starting to grow. You're about to see your happiness be multiplied in so many different ways, I just like feel like I just want to shake. And I keep seeing that in my head, maybe like I just want to shake somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I just want to shake somebody and be like, let it go. <laughs> There's somebody out there right now who is still so hurt, 
so heartbroken, so wound up around something that had to leave your life. And I'm literally energetically shaking you right now. Let it go. 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 Don't let it live rent free in your head. You're taking up space. You need room. You're choking out the seeds that you've planted. All right. You can't plant these seeds and continue to focus on the weeds because they're going to continue to choke out whatever these dreams are, whatever these are that you're planting. Literally, the Ten of Cups is clarifying the Three of Pentacles. That is what's growing. That's the foundation that you've laid for yourself. And sometimes that looks like, looks a little dark before you get here because you have to separate yourself from a lot of different energies. I mean, wow. With this throne energy, this position of authority, this is meaning that you choose everything that comes into your life and everything that goes. You are the center of it all. This is something here. Tell us, let's, let's take a look at the Seven of Wands. Here was the first card that came out. Eight of Cups. I'm telling you what I say. Seven of Wands, you let your guard down to a particular situation. Not only have you let it, you're over it. This Eight of Cups energy is I'm over that shit. You're walking away from all of the shit that do not serve you. All of it. That's why your guard is down. It's like, I know I don't need to have my guard up if I've removed the energies or the people who don't treat me right. And with the family room here, this could be literal family. This could be a new family, a soul family, people you can trust, people who you know are going to love you and love the things that you're working on and doing. Okay. Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Cause I'm just getting carried away. I gotta go to the car rider line. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the car rider line. And let me just tell you this. Look, it's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords was the overall energy that I pulled in the community tab for the um, the collective, the one card pool. So I feel like these things are about to start rushing in towards you very quickly, very quickly. Just out of curiosity, I have a few minutes. Let's pull this fourth. Let's see what this fourth pops in reverse is. We have the King of Swords. Tell us about this fourth, four of cups in reverse. Ooh. King of Wands in reverse. Tell us about this four of cups in reverse. Page of Wands. Could be a friend, could be an ex. It's a person. Three court cards, it's a person, okay? Three court cards, that is a person. Somebody who's very much in their ego. King of Swords here. I feel like there's someone who's seeing the truth of a situation now. And I said that before. Look at that. I saw something. Um, of a missed opportunity. They could be coming towards you to speak with the, with the Page of Wands. Tell us about this. Four of Wands. If this is a relationship, somebody's going to come back towards you. Like when you're in this good energy... Somebody, look at that, the tower, coming back very quickly, very unexpectedly, coming back towards you to present a relationship with you. Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Empress. They're coming back to send you a message of love. Because look at that, in this Empress energy, Five of Cups, seems like somebody here is sad. Tell me more. That's all we need to know right here, Spirit. Thank you. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. We already know, like, you already know this story, Aries. Like, there's someone, it could be family, could be a mother with the Empress energy here, but I feel like somebody's seeing you grow and develop and wanting to come back towards you after a betrayal. You know, I feel like with this energy, I feel like somebody may has had may have had time to think is what I'm getting here. Somebody may have had time to think and maybe it just doesn't make sense to them anymore. Maybe what they did to you in the past made sense and now they're starting to see, damn, what the hell did I do? That's what it looks like. They're like, what did I do? Let me try to creep back in, in, in Aries life. Because like somebody's seeing you in a good mood. Somebody's seeing you in a good mood. Somebody's seeing you reap like, you know, rewards and, and just this good energy 
And they're like, well, maybe this is a good time for me to come back and, you know, apologize and tell them I missed them. And hey, you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it feels like that's what's happening here. Somebody was in their ego. Look at that. Seven of Wands in reverse. That's where we started. And the Three of Swords. So be careful. Use your discernment, Aries. Okay. I'm going to read, since I read the first part of Milk and Honey, I'm going to leave you with the prosperity message. And I feel like I want to read the relationship message. Yep, 51. Okay, Milk and Honey. So I read the Oracle message. Let's read the relationship message first. All right, so it says, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. This is all about abundance, this card. Um, the prosperity message says, there is only one authentic you. This version of yourself is spirit's emiss emissary in the world. When you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine, I'm telling you, your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose. Now is the time when you're seeking your true north. When you find this direction, you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance. This is amazing. Miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world. With every choice you make right now, you have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life now. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. That's amazing. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Take care. Bye.